And, and what took you to France? Uh, well, I, I wanted to study theatre and I considered, I studied theatre in Barcelona in Collège del Teatre with Bertie Tobias, who's an ex-student of Lecoq and he actually recommended to go to study in Lecoq. I was only 17 when he said that to me and I thought, okay, I'll make some money because it was an expensive school. So when I was 18, I worked, I gathered some money and I went to see the Lecoq school because I wanted to check it out first. Um, I thought about La Sat in, in Belgium as well, but then I thought might as well go to the, to the one that started this whole thing, you know, and uh, it was very much the right decision. Yeah. Why? Why was what made it so special there? Your training there. The Lecoq, Lecoq school was very special. Um, we had him as a teacher. Um, I was very young then and very quite inexperienced in the world. But uh, there was something about the energy of that school, the rigor, the discipline, the creativity, the the international aspect of it. Uh, the level of excellency that was asked for because there was no margin there. I mean, if you got out, started an impro and he didn't like it, he would stop straight away. So there was, you know, there was a lot of competition, but it also meant that the work that, that happened there was, I've never seen work like this after, mm -hmm. you know, the best work I've seen, theater work, is in that school, you know. Um, it was very exciting very exciting and very uh, demanding. Mm -hmm. It made you come out with stuff, you know, and uh, I was lucky to go into the second year and it was challenging. It was a real challenge for me, but I think he kind of liked me actually because I was the smallest, the youngest in the school. And he kind of, you know, he was very nice to me and, and with all the challenges and everything, but still I got a lot out of it to the point where I still I still enjoy that work because you know of course my work now is my work because 31 years but that base that that foundation is still there very very deeply rooted mm -hmm. yeah yeah and uh, what, what, what about that work or that training did you find most challenging the competitive level you know as i said i was very young and and it was a bit scary sometimes because um there were people that were very confident and very kind of you know you had to compete you had to be tough you had to be strong and it was the first time out of home for me i was 19 when i got there and first experience outside of my family home well i was in barcelona before but still with friends still very kind of known terrain you know so that going to Paris um, I had very little money I had to work for families that was already in itself a big challenge uh, I, w I used to sleep in Chambre de Vaux in tiny little rooms you know doing taking care of the children and everybody was a lot older than me a lot more experienced a lot more everything so it was a bit scary you know for me but I, I remember in the first year I thought okay, this is difficult, but this is something I have to do. Something, a little voice inside me was like, you got to do this, Marianne. And I did it and, and it was great. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how did you, how did you deal with that? Like the sense of competition? Cause I can imagine in a sense like this, if you're the youngest and with the, all, all the prestige the school has, it must feel very intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. It was intimidating, but also somehow I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the work and I must have had some talent because it worked for me and I passed into the second year. So, um, yeah, when, when you enjoy the work, you know, uh, all the barriers disappear, you know, and sometimes it was scary, but other times it wasn't, you know, when I, because I did find interesting stuff to propose and to, that the teachers were happy with. So, you know, both things. The second year was a little harder because Somehow in the second year, it, you know, um, it wasn't so much uh, training of the actor, but it was more to do with styles, like clown, buffoon, comedial art. It was more theater rather than training. And 
somehow it was harder. I, I, the training, the physical training, that all of that went really well with me. When we came to Styles, it was a little harder for me at the time. Maybe, uh, you know, again, I didn't quite understand what, what we were doing sometimes, you know. But I did find a lot. I remember in the melodrama, in the tragedy, mm -hmm. you know, I found a lot of stuff. Um, and it was, when you found stuff, it was great. And when you didn't, well, you learn, you know, mm -hmm. try again and yeah which is what we you know here that's what we try to do you know it's that the whole thing is about encouragement you know and try again mm -hmm. you know yeah because the other day simon said to me he read or he heard on the radio that uh nine out of ten in teaching and he was talking about teaching i think children or teaching as in you know um school nine out of ten was is to do with encouragement mm -hmm. you know and this is something we practice a lot here because here we uh, the people that come here are from all sorts of backgrounds some very very experienced people some people not very much experienced but whatever the level we always encourage the participants to come afresh to come with a blank page you know, to open, to open to the moment, to the what's being um, what's being proposed, and to not come with the fear or the judgment of I have to do this well, because that's a problem for actors. It is a problem for us actors. You know, when we come with this thing, oh, I have to be good, and we judge ourselves, then we stop. We we stop our cre creativity. We stop our freedom, because we're coming from the head. So there is these two realms, you know, when you are in play and when you, when you enjoy what you're doing, you're not judging yourself. If you're judging yourself, is that you're not there. And so we really try to, and I think we achieve that because people here enjoy a lot, you know, they, they do, they enjoy a lot. I mean, it's, we've done it 21 years and through the feedback, I, I know it's like this. Um, and I think it's because people feel free People feel free, they don't feel scared to make mistakes. It's a safe environment, you know, right from the beginning we talk about this and people feel like, like yeah, I can, I can enjoy, I can enjoy, you know, and that's apart from all the technique that we do, uh, enjoyment is, is a big part of anything in life. You know, if you enjoy it and you practice it, you get good at it. Simple, it's simple, yeah. Yeah. And uh, how did you? Um, what what did you? What did, would you say you've you've taken from your training at Lecoq and applying it to Actor Space? And how is Actor Space different? Mm. Has its own methodology and its own voice? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Um, well, Lecoq is very physical. So it's a physical physical work, which I am myself very physical. Before doing uh, theater, I was dancing a lot and I enjoy physicality a lot. So that's something that I, um, as a mass teacher and a, and a physical theater teacher, you know, because it's not just mask, but it's, it's also without masks. Uh, that's something I impart because again, I enjoy it and I, I've trained a lot over the years, my body to be able to, to pass on these techniques. I, I know the body, I understand how the body works. Um, what was the question? <laughs> so the question is, so yeah, what did you take? What would you say are the oh, tools yeah. and the elements you took? From right. So that's, that's the part, the physical part. And of course, the observation, obser because the whole thing about Lecoq is observation of life and nature around you, you know, and that's the, the beautiful thing about it. It's all about, it's not about inventing. It's about, hey, just listen and look, because life is there you know and all we're doing is we're putting this on stage through some techniques that are for stage of course so the observation and this is the beautiful thing about the lecoq school for me now after that of course there is all the trainings that came uh trainings uh, script writing uh with with hollywood uh, script writers um i was lucky to to do some training with blake snyder who's a, a wonderful script writer um, and many, many other trainings that you, that you do and you gather, and not just the trainings, but also your own experience, you know, because we work in theater companies, 
in England here and, and you gather and you gather experience and you gather understanding and when you practice something you start to it's like an essential oil I mm -hmm. guess you start to distill you start to get to the essence of things because you, you you've done it so many times that you you get to a place of okay it's simple mm -hmm. you know simplicity because you understand the essence mm -hmm. you know and that's when it's it's just like uh, oh, today we were having breakfast with Simon and he said we were talking about well you know the COVID-19 and the future and he said is it easy for you to do dramatic art and the answer was like yes it's so easy because I've done it for 30 years you know so that's something I can do easily and and enjoy you know and and I think this this happens when you've done it a lot, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. becomes your second nature. Mm -hmm. So from our own experience, um, you know, knee high theatre, La Fura dels Baus, uh, teaching at universities in, in the States, in England, uh, here in Catalonia, mm, doing our own companies, working with many different people, many different artists. So you gather, you gather, you gather, like the ants, no? You gather, you gather, and then, or like the bees, no? And then you make the honey, and, mm. and there is the, and I think that's the beauty of the actor space, that I feel that in only one week, we can, we can give the pollen or the honey, you know? We give that extraction, you know? And people, you know, in just one week, people get very empowered. You know, not everybody. I'm sure some, for some people it's maybe too not intellectual enough for some people because it's not intellectual the work we do, or for some people whatever. I don't know. They come from other, you know, and it's very respectable. But for for most of it, uh, it works. It works really well. That's why we've been doing it 21 years, I think. Yeah. It's not intellectual. So how would you describe it? It's like I said, it's, it's physical, it's to do with observation, it's to do with the principles of being a human being. You know, we have, we love, we hate, we get angry, we have fear, we get sad, you know, and really theatre for me, in my opinion, is we're putting the microscope into human relationships. For me, that's what it's about, you know, how do we relate as human beings between each other, in our environment, in nature, in the planet, in this life that we have. It's a reflection of life. So, you know, it's, it's observation. Again, observation, not just physical or visual, but also sit on a train and <laughs> without being, you know, seen, listen to the conversations people have, you know, or in a cafe. You know, it's very interesting. Today I was in a cafe and there was this group of uh, cyclists with their gear, you know, with all their gear, all men. And I was thinking, oh, I would love to sit with them now and say, hey, continue talking, ignore me. I just want to hear what you're talking about, you guys, no? Very macho kind of bikes, you know? And that's for me very interesting. People are very interesting. People interest me a lot. And what people say, people's worries, people's concerns, people's relationships, people's fears, you know, and, and of course, great writing, you know, reading great writers. Um, uh, I don't know, I write myself. Um, I think life is fascinating mm -hmm. and uh, there's so much to say, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You don't have to look very far to find what makes something so interesting. Exactly. To life. Exactly. Um, exactly. And so you said something which for me I think is very important, the idea of safety, you know, how the how uh, when somebody comes in here, the feeling of, if, you know, you go to some other schools of training and you feel judgment and you feel mm. the competition and you feel, and I wonder what, what elements do you, would you say you, you provide after these 20 years Mm -hmm. uh, of working here and all this mm -hmm. positive feedback and you have so many people that keep returning every year what would you say are the elements that you provide that that uh, you that know that? it's it's an interesting question and I think you just made me think I think part of it is because this is our home mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think that people that that come here 
we invite them to our home. So they kind of become a little bit family in some way, you know, of course not family, but we treat them a little bit like family, you know, like, well, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, I mean, I teach and actually I teach not in my home and I use the same. So maybe what I'm saying, you know, thinking about it. I don't know, Natasha, I just know that uh, with Simon, we, We've done a whole, we, we met very young, we've grown up together, we've understood some things in life that this is about enjoying, this is about love, this is not about suffering, this is not about being miserable, and that's what we try and, you know, share. Mm -hmm. Because what's the point? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, no, it's like, and yeah, some teachers like to be tough and this and that. I like to be honest. Mm -hmm. I like to say things as they are as a teacher and what can be improved, you know, and look in this area, but also what was there that worked. Mm -hmm. Because very often teachers are focused on what didn't work and we forget, hey, there were some things there that did work. And that's important to underline as well, mm -hmm. because we know that as actors, we've, we are in a very fragile situation to act is to expose yourself naked. It's, very, it's a very fragile thing to do, and we know that because we're actors. So maybe there is that empathy, that yeah. empathy and that element of care, mm -hmm. you know, that I think people enjoy, people like, mm -hmm. to, to feel that, that there is a care, you know. Because there is too much harshness in the world, so why not? Why not care? Why not be nice? What's wrong with that? <laughs> you know? That's how I that's how I see it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And and so why why is this place called the actor space? This Where does the name come from, the actor space? Yeah, this is a good question for Simon, but I will answer it too. So the space, no? Um such an important element because we have this body and we have the space. This is what we work with. And, and our voice is part of the body. You know, these are the elements. Um, the thing with the actor's space is not just the actor's physical space, but what we do say here is that what is the actor's space? The actor's space is the audience. Is the audience, no? Where we work as actors, what we touch is, is the inner space of the audience, their heart, their mind, no? their senses. So the actor space, what is the actor space? For us, the actor space is the inner world of the audience. And that's where we live as actors, as creators. Uh, and when we say actors, uh, there's a workshop called the creative actor because actors, what we encourage is creation. So writing, acting, directing, we call it the, the triangle, the creative triangle. You cannot take one away. You need directing, you, re you need acting, and you need writing. The three are very important. And it's a triangle. And, and you know, we say, okay, the audience live in that space, inside that triangle. So we encourage these three parts. You know, we encourage actors to, to have an outside eye, which could be directing, you know. We encourage them to write, you know, to create. Is it goes it goes together. It goes together. So yeah. And and so what uh, what uh, you have said three questions, uh you uh, tell them more <laughs> No 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 continue, it's fine, it's fine. No. But you have to do Simon too, so yeah, 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 yeah. it's good, it's good. Um, so uh, if you if you can answer this now um <laughs> if it comes to mind just thinking of like over the 20 years and like thinking of the satisfaction that you've experienced over this work is there like a moment or a memory of i mean i have two questions one is like when did you start to think with simon like okay we got something special here like we you know the, the project the actor space went from traveled from being an idea to you know in a dream to actually reality you know like yeah. when did you actually feel like this is working we have something important here that that is going to have a life you know, you know uh I, to be honest honestly i think right from the beginning there was no moment where i thought 
okay, that's it. I think the first year that we did it, uh, there were some people that came from England, from a school we were working in, in England, in the south of England. And it was, it was very, uh, I remember we had 24 people and they were camping because there was no accommodation at the time or very little accommodation. Now we have a lot. But then there was a lot of people camping and there was so much excitement. And we were young, they were young, you know, and it was just great. It was just, you know, even going in the morning, running, you know, running in nature to warm up, you know, running and jumping and getting in the fields. And it was just exciting. And I, I just had my daughter was born. Uh, she was just born. And I don't know. And, and we never, th we actually never thought that this was going to be uh, something that we were going to do for 21 years. We never thought that. It just... That's how it's been, you know. Before you know it, wow, 21 years. And we never missed the summer. We never missed a, se mm -hmm. a season. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow, you know, 20, really? But it just um, it started like this, and then people talk, and people come back. And, and I think, again, why it worked is because we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Simon and I enjoy it. Not too much of it, because this is our house. So that's why we do it in the summer. Mm -hmm. And these are residential courses in the summer. And then we do our own projects because we didn't want to do a, a whole year school. That would be too much for us. We need space, we need our own, you know. But that intense sharing, uh, it's a blast. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there was a moment where I thought, okay, that's it, that's working. It's just year by year. And some years uh, works better, of course, some years works Mm, less better, but in general, in general, it's worked really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One last question. <laughs> okay, so, uh, because of the 21 years of success, and you got all these positive testimonials, and uh, and is there? Do you have like a highlight memory of a moment in, during those times? Like one of the memories where that really stand out? There is um, a few. There is a few. There are moments, even many years ago, of some workshops that we did many years ago. I remember somebody in one of the outdoor theater pieces, uh, that because they create, uh, they present. A uh, part of the workshops is presentations. The, you know, the, the participants devise and present all the time. And one of the presentations was in a hill, and somebody was almost naked. They were wearing, I think they were wearing some trunks, they were at the top of the hill with a mask at the top and three girls climbing the hill, um, three masks. We were doing half mask work. And it was, I, I, that, meant, that image is in my head because it was hilarious. I, I can't really explain it, but it was just one of those moments of laughter. There's been moments of clowning that I, you know, as I'm saying this come to my mind, moments, you know, that sublime, you know, of, of a lot of laughter and a lot of, you know, wow, this is so good, you know, mm -hmm. lots, quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to, uh, ha who is the, <laughs> so now I'll go to more like technical questions. Yeah. Okay. So who is the actor space for? Like what, what kind of person would mm. you say the actor space is suitable for? If we were talking about writers, directors, yeah. actors, or people who just have it as a hobby, I don't know. Would what uh, well, it's changed because before people, when we started, people used to be actors, but now nobody's just an actor. Not many people anyway. People are actors and they do other jobs <laughs> because that's how it's gone, right? So um, a lot of people that come here, they obviously they do theater, you know, they want to refresh or get refreshed, get more tools in what they do. Uh, we do screen acting as well, so film, you know, people that are interested in doing castings, all of that. Um, students of dramatic art, teachers of dramatic art. As we've gone older, there is a lot more participants my age these days, in their 50s, in their 60s, in their 70s. We have a guy that keeps coming back every year who's 70, you know, so... And he's a, he was a dancer, actually, a ballet international, you know, dancer. And now he's doing comedy stuff. And so, um, and then there is also some people who are creative, who, who want to explore this area. 
And usually we have a workshop that's called the Creative Actor where we say, okay, for enthusiastic beginners, we call them as well. And sometimes it works a treat because sometimes the people that do best work is the ones that have no contamination. You know, they're completely pure and they arrive here. And of course, in this lovely environment, they can do amazing things very quickly. And that happens too. So, and, and yeah, writers, writers, uh, directors, in the in the last few years we have had more of that more more writers and more directors um, sometimes animation people that do animation people that do documentary you know mm -hmm. yeah yeah but uh, usually i mean i remember one guy we had a businessman come here and did a workshop that was very strange <laughs> because he was a real businessman you know he was from germany or or I don't know if it was or some some northern country and he was very, you know, businessman. And he did a workshop and we were all like, oh, look at that, you know, that's different, you know. But um, yeah, we, we're open, we're open, mm -hmm. yeah. And we do do a selection, we, you know, we... Uh, sometimes, and now with experience I can tell, like some people, they say, oh, can I come? And sometimes, I, oh, this person, they think it's a holiday and uh, that's, you know, I, what is your interest? Are you coming just because of the environment or, or are you coming to learn? You know, because we don't want to waste people's time or money or our time or, you know, yeah. Yeah. In what courses, what courses do you provide here at the actor space? I mean, yeah. No, so what, uh, what yeah, what are the different courses that the actor space Well, the, the, the kind of, you know, signature program that we do uh, lately has been the Creative Actor, which is a physical theater workshop in which we explore masks as well as physical theater. Um, we do the Art of Comedy, which is, uh, um, which is a special one for us because Simon is something that he's been doing since he was 14 and, and I, I love also comedy and to laugh and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. We do screen acting, uh, lately not so much because of all the technical aspect of it that it requires, um, but we've done it many years. The director's course, that's, that's a wonderful course. We do the directing performance. That's one that is very creative. Uh, it's about directing performance. And mm, it's, it's again one of our favorites. A lot of great stuff happens in that course. Um, and then we do writing, script writing, which, is, which we've only started to do recently, but that's also very, very precious. And it worked a treat when we did it. Um, we were very happy with it, but we have to, you know, these days we're selective and we're doing these workshops less and less. It's becoming more and more selective. And now with the situation of COVID even less. So, you know, um, yeah, we, that's, that's, that's the ones we've been doing, but it doesn't mean that we might do some others. A buffoon workshop we've done twice, mm -hmm. me and a friend of mine who is a teacher in Barcelona. We've done the buffoon workshop twice. That that's been really interesting. So yeah, that's yeah. And now doing research and development with projects and yeah, getting into other projects as well. Fantastic. Is there any other question you would like to? Uh, no, answer? I think I think I've said a lot more than I thought I would say, and I don't want to bore Steph, Stefano oh, here. Oh, oh, oh who's waiting so <laughs> and there is also Simon to be yeah. done and everything so now thank you Natasha it's great yeah. thank you very much yeah.